What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Verzi Effect podcast show. My name is Paul Verzi, and you guys are listening to episode 584. Uh, I don't know what that means for as many in the studio, because this is kind of new. And I want to thank everybody uh, who's been watching and helping the Verzi Effect grow since I've been here. Please rate and review. Continue to do that uh, and get the podcast everywhere you get your podcast, iTunes, Spotify. Um, and, you know, we kind of, this is kind of, as Ari Shafir says, the... Uh, the Verzi full effect because we kind of do it different now. I used to do the unacceptables on my own. Now I've moved that over to Bone to Pick, and I usually just have guests now that I love, people that are great, people that I have a great time with. And this week is absolutely no exception. <laughs> uh, I tried to get this dude on. And our schedules are nuts because he's busy doing great, which makes me incredibly happy. This dude used to open for me. He's hilarious comic from Philly. And he is also half of the, I think, truly one of the best podcasts out. Are you garbage? And I guess you could say, did you create it? Did you were the, Did you create the show? Yeah, me and him did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, look, see, you even threw him, but it was you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Ryan is here from Are You Garbage? And uh, Philadelphia is on. Oh man, thank you, uh, dude. No, dude, I, I. That was a great intro, but I've never been on that. I've never. We do big end. intros on our show, and I've never been on the other end of a nice yeah. big intro. That's fantastic. Well, I, listen, I'll be honest. I don't give them a lot. <laughs> right, well, I when I, I have some people that I'm like, hey, yeah, man, my guest is over here. <laughs> yeah, Thanks for coming through. We'll be out of here about yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, this kid dances on TikTok, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the show needs some followers. Sure. No. Um, no, dude, it's great to see you. And I was actually thinking about you the other day because I was in Houston. Uh-huh. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. in Houston. And, dude. After the show, I went to that cigar lounge, no shit. which was taken over ah, okay. and still, but still has the members. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a, our it was actually like our a, fathers it was, or something. Yeah, it was, it was like a, it was like a, a black owned and it membership. Was an, yeah, it was an African American like uh, social club, cigar social club. Yeah, and this guy took it over. He redid it during pandemic. Really nice. Still have the old members on the wall. Mm -hmm. So cool. Huge comedy fan. No shit. So he found out that I was in town doing stuff. And we talked, and he's like, man, he's like, I'm trying to get, he said the two, because he says people go in there all the time, uh -huh. he said the two that he really wants is um, uh, Chappelle okay. and Snoop. To go he in. goes. He goes. I want. I just want Chappelle and Snoop to come into town and go in the Those back are room tough and smoke. Gets, I feel. Yeah, yeah. He was. But like, he was like, you know, like apparently people that smoke. Because a lot of people, dude. I know. Cigars are a big thing, and when athletes and like performers go to places, they're looking. For they're that. looking for that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. he's. And then, but so, dude, I start talking to the guy, and he goes, "You mind if I get your information, dude?" The guy's texting the owner. Mm -hmm. He's texting me at two in the morning, going, "I'm watching the special." No then shit. he's sending me pictures of my special. That's sick. And he's like, he's like nuts. But me and you were That's there. So funny though. That was we just randomly ended up there yes yes and had a yeah a fucking awesome night it was just it was just very it was a we didn't know what to expect yeah what this is why i wanted you on the show too another reason why i wanted you on the show is because you did something you have something that i think successful people successful people have where other people are just like ah we'll see uh the other shoe's gonna drop and you know i'm not a big guy like that sure i'm not i'm not one of those fucking like you know, ah, we'll see what happens. Well, nobody cares about that victim sure, shit. Sure, sure. And you're not that. And when we were working together, and by the way, and dude. First of all, Verzi was like the only guy to ever fucking, you gave me an opportunity early on. You were the only guy to be like, hey, you're funny. I thought you were drunk or something. I didn't know I, what to I, think. I saw you at New York Comedy Club, and I go, dude, you're funny. We'll work together one time. And you kind of looked at me like, yeah, all right, whatever. And then... Um, no, no, no. I did. I put that in my fucking... Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, all right, I'm fucking following up on that. <laughs> and then I remember... fucking hunt them down to get those <laughs> yeah. fucking dates of bananas. And Let's then go. I, remember, I remember one time you were like... I remember one time you were like... Uh, I go, yeah, do you want to do it? And you go, dude, I can't. I'm like, all right, I mean, I'm trying to help. And then <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden, dude, we started doing yeah. dates together. By the way, are you garbage? And you know I say this when I'm on the show. Of course. It's, one, it's, it's incredible. Thank you. It's incredible. Thank you. But what I was going to say is we were working together. We were at some casino. Mm -hmm. uh, we were Mo Mohegan. Yeah, I remember, yeah. And we're sitting outside, and you were, you were doing all – you were always, like – positive working and one thing that was dope was you were doing the beer tasting thing yeah, yeah, yeah and you were like you were you were putting shit out on you were putting content trying, out trying and you're doing whatever and then you were like yeah man me and foley uh shout out to h foley mm -hmm. so funny the other half of are you garbage and uh, we saw him at del frisco's the other night and it was fucking hilarious <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude he walked in with like if just, you're looking for foley in new york just walk into a steakhouse There's, dude go into it be there for <laughs> sure or just left you just missed him. just go into del frisco's on six oh, yeah at like oh, yeah. six p.m and you got to shot to see foley but mm -hmm. 
we were talking and you were like, yeah, I'm working on this podcast with Foley and we're doing this. But you were always like putting the work in, whether it was uh, featuring whatever you were doing, whether you were doing stand up, whether you're doing spots around the city, whether you're putting content out, always doing it. And you were just like, yeah, man, I'm working. You were working. And another thing is you had a wife, dude, from another country. Uh -huh. And that's got to be pressure, man. Like, yeah. You got a you got a wife from Germany. I know. And you're like, yeah, I got a spot tonight. And dude, she's going like, I remember she was moved here. And I was she was like, what are we going to do for money? And I was just like, fucking at that point I'm like, well versi's giving me two days you know what i mean i'm like well gotta, you're like i'm going to houston yeah, with I'm versi going, i'm going to houston I'm going to, <laughs> yeah I got bananas you know uh no it was scary and like honestly yeah. part of it was like, i was just talking about this the other night with somebody it was like uh I was like, all right, we'll try it. And then I'm like, I'll, if this doesn't work, I didn't want to, but in my head, I'm like, I'll just move to Germany and just be some hack comedian. That's stealing fucking. Stealing everybody's bits and doing them in oh Germany. My God. You know as what as I mean? much as I'm so happy you're doing great, <laughs> dude, this, you being. There's you, a reality of that. I'm oh, man, That's pretty dude, good. Dude, just like like Kevin Ryan in Berlin, just uh -huh. the guy. Yeah, I'm just doing everything. You're on billboards on yeah. fucking. <laughs> well, dude, it's like you go over to another country, you land there, and you're like, you're, you know, it's just because the, it's a newer art, not, it's a newer thing there. No, it kind of is. Mean? Yeah. They're 25 years behind. Dude. You know, Europe's 25 years behind America when it comes to comedy. Uh, I remember actually the last time I opened for Burr, uh, which was like six years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny. He actually, he's doing some European dates and like just a handful. And he's like, hey, do you want to come out? But the last time I opened for Burr was like six years ago in Europe. Yeah. And I remember we that. Di and we did, um, we did Latvia where fucking Christoph Porzingis is from, mm -hmm. and what's Estonia. Jesus. Dude, when we did Estonia, we found out that stand-up comedy was like nine or ten years old. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm saying nine or, like, there were, like, cobblestone streets mm -hmm. that it just looked like Christmas, but it looked like, dude, it looked like you were in, like, some Disney movie in the fucking 30s. Yeah. And they were going, hey, just so you know, they watch it differently. And I go, what do you mean? And they were like, stand-up comedy's ten years old here. Dude, I walked out on stage... Dude, and they were like in suits and dresses, like they oh, were yeah, going to Broadway. Fun, yeah, it's a big and I'm to like, do. do these people know what I'm about to say? I'm about to talk about my asshole for 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to talk. I'm gonna tell dick jokes yeah. that I tell next to Dave and Buster's and strip malls. I know. And I'm literally in Estonia, but dude, they watch and they watch different in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. the one thing I noticed about in Germany is they watch a bit because they got that like engineer mind. Yeah, it's very like they were they observe like, oh, OK, I they, see what you did there. They, Good job. They wait for it. It's almost like they watch the end of a scene of a movie they and then class. Yeah. They watch it where like America, you go into because we were in Budapest, Hungary, and it was like I was in America. Yeah. Like you go into it. It was like you're in America. Mm -hmm. But then you go to like Latvia and certain. And the weird thing is some places in Germany felt American, but some places in Germany yeah, felt yeah, like yeah. you were like, oh, I'm in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fucking waiting for the Blitzkrieg to happen. So you <laughs> Fucking, dude, yeah, Berlin, it's old school there dude, some places. Dude, Berlin's got buildings that have the bullet holes yeah, yeah, from, yeah. from planes, mm -hmm. and it's still, they're it's just still, there. still yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, most I, town, most, mo a lot of cities have that shit. My favorite thing that I ever bought, uh, like one of my favorite things I ever bought in Europe was this watch. Mm -hmm. at, it's a Swatch. Okay. And I bought it in Berlin, and it's my absolute favorite. Nice it's watch. one of my, yeah, dude, it was like 400 bucks, Not and bad. I was just like, and, and we, I bought it next to a building that was literally like shot yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you used to hold POWs. Now, now, I got to ask you this question, sure. Kev, because things are things are great for you and 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 are you garbage is uh -huh. crushing and you guys are making some some dough sure. like you should be. Uh -huh. But before that, you got German in-laws. So here's yeah. my question. When your wife like was like she had to explain to her parents what you do or uh -huh. like were they are they open minded to it? I got it? lucky. I got real lucky. Oh, it's, okay. a, it's a little fucking, you know, kismet or whatever, however you want to call it. But her dad. I met her at a con. I met her at the old stand on whatever that was, twentieth like yeah, yeah, and third or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, her, she were going to like New York. I'm going to go to a comedy show, and uh, she, her dad used to run like one of the first comedy venues in Germany. What? Yeah. So her dad used to run a theater in a small town outside Frankfurt. And Dude. He would like these people started, you know, they're more like one man showy type things, but like comedy. But, one but he's in, he was in the arts, which is just crazy, which is nuts. So like he really he there was like he started working with one guy and then that guy knew another guy who was like, I'm coming to town. You got to book him. So they had comedians. So he's interested in you probably out oh, of the he gate fucking loves it. He's like, this oh. is the coolest fucking thing ever. And now like he knows all and I've met them like I'd go over and like talk to them. Uh, and like have like lunch with them, like so now he knows all the famous German comedians because they all started 
coming uh, 20 years ago coming through his room. Is he educated on American comedy or not he's really? Not really. He okay. doesn't, his English isn't great, so it's like he's, you know, removed. But, like, he knows the art form, and he knows the—and mo- thankfully, he knows the lifestyle. Like, his— Yeah. Like, his mom—or, I'm sorry, her mom, uh, his wife— she was like, I had, he was, he lived the life of a comedian of like out late at night doing the shows because right. he was running the venue. So wow. she's like, I was, you know, you know, it's tough. It's like, she's like, I was a mom at home with kids and my husband's working late running these comedy shows. Wow. So she's like, I get it. Like, and she's like, so she grew up with her dad in the industry, like, you know, industry, so to say. Now, did, uh, did she go to the stand that night just because of that? She, yeah, she was like, oh, we're in New York. Let's go, like, let's go see New York comma, stand-up comedy in New York City. It's so, like, it's a uh, deal. dude, that's, so yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking you got some, you know, not crazy, but like, you know, German, no, was like, luckily, comedy, what, you know, no, like. And luckily, they're very, like, into forward-thinking, it. Art, that, artsy, fartsy type people. So you could have a drink, you could have a beer with this kid. Oh, yeah, 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 great. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, awesome. What yeah, part that's of Germany great. is she from? Uh, Frankfurt. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, I remember when I was there. Didn't you have some people come out, or they knew? I think so. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yes. So she had, she, had, her friends went to see you. Yeah, when you guys were in uh, uh, Frankfurt Fra- or yeah, somewhere. Fra- Frankfurt yeah. was one of the early ones. Holy, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Because, because it's got to be already nerve wracking to be like, hey, I'm trying to make a living at this. Now you have a, a no wife that's from yeah. a. It's like, and and she's got to be like, how are we gonna make money? But she was saying that, and I was like, I don't know. I'm like, you just have to fucking trust me. And, and like, also, I was lying to her for sure. Oh, that's like right. I was like just try. I didn't. I feel like trust I got a myself. savings. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have savings, and we were fucking. I just started having a savings, and we were redlining it. It was like <laughs> not paying fucking Time Warner to keep the lights on to fucking. I was I was really spinning plates. You're like, do we need HBO? Oh, dude, we were like the Netflix was in her name. It was real fucking. I was spinning plates, dude. And I remember, uh, yeah, and the yeah. first time she got here, my I had overdraft. I fucked something up bad. Like I missed a. Deposit. I was oh. the math in my head on my checking account got fucked up, <laughs> and I woke up like the third day of her being here, like Panic. negative fourteen hundred dollars because like something mit like. I thought something was going to hit, and it didn't, and I didn't cancel a process, and then all those charges, like yeah. I had like fifteen other charges that just rolled over into overdrafts, and I woke up and I was just like, I th- I looked at her, I was like, I you. I don't think I can do that. I'm like, I, I, I'm you like, look at her, like, I you can leave. Two days, I'm in the red. Two days. <laughs> you two look days, at, I'm two grand in the hole. You look at her, you're like, you could leave. Yeah, no, I literally <laughs> was like, I don't think I can swing that. And like, I, it was like a breakdown a little bit of like, oh, I can't fucking. This has been two days and I'm already fucked. I'm fucking but, this up. But dude, you did it. You stay positive. And here's the other thing, man, about this is the woman in your life. Obviously, if you're a man, don't be fucking weird. You mm-hmm. know, there's got, the the woman or man in your life. If you're if you're your partner, Speak progressive here, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in your life that is knows what you do has to kind of take it on the chin for a little sure. bit because there has to be a belief. You know, my wife Stacy was. I mean, no manager. I was in my early twenties. I had twelve minutes of material. I'm doing <laughs> yeah. contests. I'm doing the urban you're circuit. Doing all, you're doing I'm doing, anything I'm doing, you can dude. To stay I'm, busy. I'm doing anything I can. I'm in the back of this restaurant called Pork Knockers in Brooklyn. <laughs> town. Yeah, that's town. all right. They yeah. probably that meal was probably all dude, right, though. dude. Oh, they were giving out wings during the set. Talent was hosting, who's uh, a monster. Yeah, killer. But then there would be like a poet, and I would just be like the one white dude in the mm-hmm. back of waiting to go on, and I would be excited when I did good and call my wife, and in her mind. She's going like, all right, this is what I'm in for. Yeah. But but you also they also have to have the belief and be in it. Yeah. And you have and, and it's even harder for somebody not in America to just be like, all right, like, what's about it? How about a doctor or a lawyer? Something, or, something. Yeah. yeah. And her mom, her mom even said was just like, you can't you couldn't get like a lawyer or like somebody with some sort of fucking dude. I, she moved here. I was working part time. I think I was making like. 325 bucks a week what job was that i was working at uh for an interior designer like running his books for him okay but it was like the easy like i just went to his it was this gay dude on central park south i just go to his apartment yeah yeah and just sit there and fake do stuff i'm Uh, like you know it was that old thing from he just wanted to look at you yeah i don't know why me either he must have a fetish for chubby bald dudes but I'm not really the he, eye candy. I he's like Kevin. Expected. Just sit there and type. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Why do I have to have my shirt off? This is. Can we turn the air down in here? <laughs> yeah, but it was. Uh, I mean, dude, it's like three hundred. Feeding bucks. me. Stop feeding me donuts. <laughs> why are we doing this in the bedroom? He comes out with a plate of grapes. You're uh-huh. like, dude, this is getting weird. It was pretty funny though, because like it was a real loose. It was a great job. There's for... another gay guy in the corner painting you. <laughs> well, that's dude. That's what would happen. So he would go no. like, no, but like, oh. not painting me down. <laughs> 
bite this got a apple. canvas. Yeah. <laughs> just you like In this. In about a year, I'm going to uh, really be suspicious of this, uh, but right now the money's all right. Yeah, I need uh, the 325 a week, dude. That's like uh, fucking dude, clockwork. That's but so he funny. would have... Uh, he was a great dude. Became like a very good friend. We would just sit... He just wanted someone to like sit and talk with. Older, gay guy. He was like, you know, probably... Wealthy? Like... Wealthy, yeah. I mean, yeah. wealthy enough, he had a house on fucking Central Park South. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, but not not like a bajillionaire. Right, but right. Like, but doing well. Also, gay dude who did well, no kids, you know what I mean? So it's just like, he had a lot of disposable income, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, he... <laughs> He would go out. I'd be like, oh, what are you doing tonight? He's like, I have a date. And I'm like, all right. So I used to work like 10 to four, ten to 2 every day or something like that. <laughs> and he would call me. I'd be like, oh, what are you doing tonight? He's like, I have a date. You know, I met this guy or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, cool. And then uh, he'd call me or he'd, like text me in the morning like, hey, let's do 11 instead of 10. And then I was just like, oh, you're for oh. sure just still with a dude from last night. Oh, that's night. great. And you would walk in. You could just, you know, I'm like, somebody was fucking in here last night. Oh, you could, you could just you smell could balls? Just... <laughs> You could just feel. I'm like, there's. You could just smell balls in here. Oh, you walk, dude, it was like the rainforest. Oh, you could just geez. fucking. You're walking through it, dude. Yeah. You you walk in. You're like, dude, you should have made it twelve. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. Why don't we just call it quits today? <laughs> I'll come in on Friday. What are we doing? Oh here? shit! So you would do that during the day, and then just spots at night. Spots at night, and you know, trying to fucking film some sort of shitty content. Just so you're fucking trying to like work. Like I come from a super blue collar family. That like yeah. even the. Everybody's a construction worker of some sort. I think, like, uh, there's one, like, software engineer. The rest are yeah. pipe fitters, plumbers, c- carpenter, all union guys. And, like, that's what my dad and my stepdad were both construction workers. But they, like, worked up to the, they started their own company. Yeah. So it was just that, like, you just work. Like, yeah, yeah. Even when they didn't have work, they're like, we get up at 5 a.m. and we fucking go to work and I'm like yeah. what, what do you do like you don't there's you know you don't need to do this yeah. like, they were retired and shit yeah dude and and then like to see what you guys built with are you garbage and I gotta say and I tell you this on the show sure. your fans dude Come out, fucking best, they man. come out, dude. They come out to my shows. Yeah, like, dude. One lady was like, uh, "Can you just go on every week?" I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we like, have heaters when you it, come it, on. I'm like, I'm like, it, yeah. I'm like, first of all, it doesn't work that way because it was one. It was like, "Can you be like Dusty Slay on Nate's thing?" And I go, "No, it doesn't work that way." But I said, "I love those guys," and she was like, "No, we came like we came tonight in Chicago because we hear hear you on that." But um, what I love is when you started this. Did you and him sit down? Because I want to talk about the origin of of Are You Garbage because uh, obviously a lot of my fans uh, love it. Yeah, a lot of crossover. There's a crossover for sure. Um, Were you like, hey, let's – like what make because the questions are great. It's almost like sure. Like Bobby and I just complain about things in life, mm-hmm. and it was almost like the way I did unacceptable on this show. Sure, because that was the hugest seg- part of my show was yeah. I would have people submit their unacceptables for years, and then Bobby and I would sit down and I'd be like, "Dude, you know what my problem is with you?" And then we ended up saying, "Well, let's combine." Yeah, uh, and then he would do a bone to pick on his thing, so we combined it. Did you go like what made the um? Are you trash? Are you garbage? Thing were you guys like? sitting down going hey what's a good niche or were you kind of just shooting the shit about like what really does make people garbage <laughs> was, and then saying that should be a pod uh a little bit of, i mean a little it was a, it was even more like organic than that it was we used to play it's naturally uh, see, that's why the organic is why it works we're na- it's naturally what we always did right because yep. like i'm from like a little bit of a nicer town but like <laughs> also way more blue cot like you know my mom was one of nine you know my dad barely got out of high school so it's like a nice town but but everyone's like we, cops and fucking firemen not no they were even more it was like 50 50 it was more like doctors and lawyers and oh, okay. shit like that okay. and then like we were like the the super blue collar people that were like okay. just because my dad uh, you know had a few good years in the HVAC business that like right, 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 we right, bought right. a house overextended himself on the house <laughs> got a divorce had the mo- you know it's all just like <laughs> they're like there's a doctor there's a lawyer those are the Ryans yeah whose grass isn't cut <laughs> like that kind of shit you know what I mean yeah uh, no but uh, you didn't have a rusty car in the front yard did no, you no no uh, yeah. oh, years yeah there was a there was an old suburban for a lot my stepdad so dude it had four flat tires dude those cars that are sitting in the front yard for years not they almost the yard, become in part the driveway of, we're not uh, fucking uh, animals uh, come on what are we talking about here. <laughs> The fuck out of this township. There's a rep it's, it's funny when you go past a house and there's just an old bug, like a, yeah, like a Volkswagen bug. That's <laughs> dude, yeah, we're going to get that together. You're like, no, you're not, dude. You're like, dude, it's been since 95. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, no, so I'm sorry. So, go ahead. So, it came- no, so, it was more of like we used to, we just naturally, our dynamic, like you and Bobby have, you kind of, it's like 
uh, contentious. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, you're like I got a bone to pick with you. You fucking did this, and you're like trying to prove your point in a funny comedy way yes. and like break balls and you know it's like a it's like it's, a it's like a it's like two lawyers it, kind of it, going at it it's funny when you say like the organic thing because one time i think bobby was on this show the uh -huh. versi effect and i just i said something i go you know my you know what i got a, i got a bone to pick with you and he go jesus what, Versi, what? and then that was he was the one to go because i was like everybody keeps talking about how we have Such some rhythm, chemistry yeah. and rhythm let's do something he was the one to go let's make it like a niche and then i was just like well i do the unacceptable thing already and i was like well let's kind of do do that because he was doing yeah. and he was doing i guess he would do on his patreon for the ykwd a bone to pick yeah, yeah, but he yeah. would be like this is my thing and it kind of kind of came from that so I think when it is organic, and you know Foley so well. See, it's like, it's like Foley will throw you an alley, you'll you throw him one. Uh -huh. Same thing with me and Bobby. Yeah, it's a lot of like, you can, you know, like, it's like a no-look pass. You just know, I I know his rhythm. I know when he's going to stop. I know when I should have something. He knows my rhythm. He knows what gets me going. It's all that. How long have you known him? Did you grow up like? No. Dude, he's fucking 10 years older than me. I met him. He oh, was okay. fucking my age, I think, now. Did you meet him in New York? No, I met him in Philly. He just, he would always bum C. At that point, he was a... Uh, fucking hilarious. He just needed somebody that had SIGs. And I was working for my family. So, like, I had <laughs> a, not money, but, like, I was doing... I just graduated college. I was like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I had an apartment with my friends. I had a used car. Like, I was like, you know what I mean? I wasn't, like, scraping together. I had a, a couple of bucks. And uh, so I always had SIGs, and he never had SIGs. Because he was like, you know, he was like a fucking coked out waiter or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. by the way, cigarette camaraderie is a thing. Oh, dude, all dude. my friends, dude, I've gotten more friends and more bookings in comedy, fucking catching heaters with people than anything I've ever done on stage. <laughs> I remember, dude, some of his young comic friends like, hey, how do you get booked? I'm like, start smoking cigs, dude. Everybody's outside smoking cigs. Dude, that Even is. People that don't smoke will come out and be like, oh, let me get one of them. And, and you, you, you want to know why that is? Because you almost have the guilt together because people make you. Sure. So you're like the you're outcast. Out yeah. You're the pieces of shit that uh -huh. are fucking smoking these cancer sticks that everyone's judging. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden you get somebody who's on this. Like, hey, dude, I don't care what they say. This thing is fucking. Yeah, this thing's all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I quit 20 years ago. And I tell you what, man. I, I mean, I smoke cigars, of course, but. Uh, I smell a cigarette now, and I'm just like, oh, baby. It's all right, oh, man. Dude, it's, it's after a, good a meal, time. dude. I know. I got to get off them. But, you know, it's it's tough. But they're fun, man. They're they're a yeah. good time in socially. If you're fucking out front of your house in August, cranking a heater in 98-degree <laughs> weather by yourself, it's they're not fun then. They're not fun. No, and, and smoking one on an empty stomach it makes you feel like uh, a piece of shit. Yeah, it tightens. You feel like eating itself. It's yeah, not good. but after a steak. After a steak, <laughs> after a hot set, you fucking walk out. You, you with, know. with a coffee? Ooh, oh, God. I fucking just did it. You caught me out front doing oh, it. Oh, dude, a coffee and, a, and, and tobacco so is just, better. I mean, nothing dude. Um, now, do, do, you and the, do you and the wife uh, plan to extend the Ryan family? Is that yes. something that's... Yes. Okay, so that's when the heaters got to stop. That's when the heaters are going to stop. Okay. For that... sure. I also... My family, we always had to hide it from my mom. Right. Right? It's like that Irish Catholic guilt. Like, yeah, yeah. You fucking don't... Uh, and it started because my sister, right? My sister was like, you know, uh, very prim and pro... You know, just like very... She was like the real good student. Older. Older sister. So she would, you know, she would smoke in, like, high school and college and, like, if she was out drinking or whatever. Like, yeah, it was, like, fucking, you know, the 90s and shit. Early 2000s. Everybody's fucking cranking them. <laughs> so you could still smoke inside. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. so she would do it, but she would hide it from my mom. Like, wouldn't do it in front of my mom. So then my brother, who was a little more, like, fucking a, of a lunatic, he would do it. But, like, it was just our, everybody hid them from my mom. Right. And then, or like our aunts and uncles at a party, like, oh, they're coming. It's like, I'm like, we're fucking 32. I'm not yeah. diving behind a car. <laughs> I'm paying my own fucking bills here. I'm catching a heater if I want a heater. Yeah, dude, at some point you got to be like, look, I do something that people don't approve of, but I'm doing it. It is what it, it is. is what it, yeah. Not everybody, you guys all aren't fun. You do shit I fucking hate. Let, just let me enjoy this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when the baby's born, you, you know, it's funny. You'll be at the hospital. You'll be putting I'll be out. out the window. Like, <laughs> what is it? Dude, he's with the nurses. <laughs> well, I can't even talk to him they said <laughs> what am i gonna wash my hands um uh but so I, I don't smoke it i don't smoke with her really if we go out to dinner and i got two or three fucking cocktails in me i'll have one yeah maybe when i get home like outside or whatever but like i don't smoke it for she don't she hates she, it she won't smoke she used to but doesn't but doesn't anymore like when we started dating 
She would smoke like European smoke. It's where like, oh, but it's like romantic, like you know. Yeah, yeah. A uh, pretty girl smoking a cig outside a cafe. It's very like it's what they do. That's actually a good point. Like European smoking versus American smoking is totally different. Like they could take like three puffs and throw <laughs> it. Dude, we're like down to like the fucking. Oh, just fucking <laughs> on. <laughs> lighting one with the other and shit. It's your fucking, feet. <laughs> it's a bad yeah, look. Uh, yeah, dude. When your thumb burns. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you can feel it on your finger. <laughs> that's time to put it out. Start over, pal. <laughs> Uh, but that's what I was off for five years and went to a wedding and it's fuck with Spanish guy. I went to a Spanish wedding a couple of years ago yeah. and it's like it's all fucking good looking dudes in cool European suits yeah, and tuxes. And skinny and you're like what? skinny and they're fucking hair. They're all olive skin fucking. And I'm like, give me one of them. But I'm like the fat bald American. My shirt's untucked. My tie's loosened. I look like you shit. Got a brownie in the other hand. <laughs> I got two croissants going. <laughs> Kev, the, uh, the widest your eyes have been during this whole show have been when you're talking about smoking cigarettes. Uh, you just... It fires me up, dude. Because uh, I, 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 you have to go to... from Kevin to Kippy. You're like, <laughs> ah, I got Kippy's got two heaters in them. Uh, it's tough because. It's a thing I know I have to give up. Like, I know, and I just, I love, I love, I hate certain aspects of it, but there's, you know, I, I love 10% of it. I love the yeah, having yeah. a couple drinks on, like, a cool fall night in New York, stepping out, lighting that Yeah, of course. The moments that, 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 that those mo everything else fucking sucks. Yeah, I mean, walking three blocks and not being able to breathe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking having to take a break upstairs, that ain't good. That, that happened to me when I was 23, and that's when I stopped. Mm -hmm. And Stacy and I were living together, and then Stacy and I, was really cool. We were like 26, 20, yeah, and I just, she goes, I go, let's smoke. She goes, let's smoke for a year and stop. And dude, we did. Yeah. But, but it went a little more than that. Sure. Like it was like at a year, she kind of wound down. I probably went like a year and three. And then we just stopped, dude. And I was able to, you know, do it. I tried the gum. The gum helped a little bit. Uh -huh. It was disgusting the first couple times. Yeah. And then it just did. You did just feel something. It takes the edge off. The, yeah. The edge off. Uh, I, yeah, I've been cut back on cigars just because if I smoke a c cigar now and I wait for the next, like I enjoy them more. Mm -hmm. Like I was, sure. I was smoking fine cigars every. Like, yeah, it's a lot. It was like almost like you yeah, couldn't. Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. what am I doing? These are like forty bucks each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're redlining it. You're like, I, you're doing it too much. <laughs> it's like eating steak dinners every night. Yeah, there's a law of diminishing returns. It's no longer good. You know. Yeah, um, I want to talk about um, the are you garbage questions that you guys have. Sure. Because they're so funny and they're so Thank they're you. so great. Um, does one does one, how long have you guys been doing the show? Uh, we started right at the pandemic, so, so like three years, three year, yeah, yeah, about maybe three and change, something like that, or coming up on three, coming yeah, up almost on three? three years, yeah, 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 okay. Um, does one stand out that's the funniest one ever? Uh, well, the thing is, like, we've you know, we each have ours, right? Like, we don't know them going into it. Like, I come up with mine, he comes up with oh, his, okay, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. go over them. Uh, there's now like a you know, there's always like uh, 10 or 15 that we ask everybody as like a, just a you know, that are like kind of classics, okay? Like, the first time they come on, we're like, here, like, do you drink milk with dinner? Do you brush your teeth in the shower? Um, do you pee in the shower? What was the name of the street you grew up on? Because that's a big determining well, factor. Well, nobody, no, the, what was the name of the streets yeah. big? Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So give me that. Give me something. Well, like we had like uh, Josh Potter. I fucking love Josh Potter. He's great. But he grew up on like Route 13 <laughs> bypass or something. Like he he could see a toll booth from his house, and it's like that ain't great. That property resale value ain't fantastic. He said Route 13. Yeah, we were like, he's yeah, like, dude, it was when like you got access a, road 18 or dude, something. Dude, when you got to write bypass road, That's like bad. when you got to yes. write that in the. A terrace is nice. A way is nice. A street's all right, depending on the first part yeah, of it. Yeah, or anything with berry in it. Woodberry? Very nice. nice. A yeah. doll, you know, like something like, uh, you know, Woodpecker never, Lane's all right. I never even thought of that. If you have to say the major route, mm -hmm. then it's like, because then you're like, you're, dude, yeah. you're off the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so like, see, that's very telling of just like the part of town you were in or kind of the develop if you were in a development or if you were like well, on piss, a fucking main street type but thing. But pissing in a shower has got to be something everybody does, right? In a hot shower? Well, I, I mean, yeah, but then we've, even, we've recently <laughs> dissected it <laughs> even I mean, more. Yeah. Do you aim into the thing or do you just like let it go on the wall? I think, uh, I, that, I think that that's a deciding factor because I really think that like if you any sort of class – even if it's go just, it's got to be in the direction of the drain. Sure. But if you're I'll the other, here's the other thing. If, if you're in the other direction, yeah. like if where the drain's not, you're a piece of shit. Uh, well, then consider me a piece of shit, gang. <laughs> oh, you just fucking spray it around. <laughs> I'm not fucking, it's not like a water, it's not a fucking water park. You learned there. that at the gay guy's house? <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'll if I do give it does go I'll okay. splash some water to yeah. you know to 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 rinse off a little bit. So that's so you guys will so you have the so we have set like a set questions. of like a right. set of, in the beginning a set of uh, let's see you know let's call it like the like the garbage we used to call it the Sullivan scale based on my family uh, the very early on when we started doing it but. Uh, it's like a, a, a revolving, they revolve, you know, like, uh, it's like a set kind of. Imagine like a 15 minute set. You're like, all right, these three are done and then a new three Got come it. in. Like Got every it. six months, eight months. But there is there is a set that we use to start off. Yeah. And then find out kind of where they're, because not every question works for every, like if you grew up in the city. Yeah. That's a very different kind of trash than like the South versus the suburbs of New York or Boston there's or different, There's different regions of trash. Yes. And like, did you have a front yard? Did you have a single family home? That then, that's the, okay, that's the lane we go down. So, so, was there a garage? What was in the driveway? Well, well you remember when I did, I sure. think I think I was one of the earliest episodes. Yeah, you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah very early I, I think on. like First top, month or something. Yeah, yeah, for like first five or 10, yeah. whatever it was. And I remember, dude, and this is what makes the show amazing. And this is why I tell all of my my um, comedian friends when they're when they're in town. Mm -hmm. I remember I was telling Burr, I go, dude, you're, it's, you're not going to have more fun. And it's nostalgic. And just telling everybody because you asked me something. My parents had got divorced. Yeah. And uh, my dad was like so opposite of trash that it was like almost like instilled in us that like you got to have. And I talk about it on sure. stage. You've seen me talk about my dad's like a man needs a nice car, a nice watch, nice shoes. You know, my dad was looking at buying like an eight hundred thousand dollar home in the early 80s, which yeah. would be like four million today. Sure. You know, then they get divorced. All hell breaks loose. Specifically and, my fat. That's like that. That's, that's how we know that. I'm like, we know that because that, right. we've lived that. Yeah, we are dirtbags at heart but the question that really made me go holy shit this is a special thing and it's and it's like you said it's like the organic thing i feel like it's what me and bobby are doing with the bone to pick because everybody can kind of relate to it mm -hmm. and it's the thing that you see that's just like you can't be like that in a restaurant and everybody feels it but when you asked me uh, um you know, because I said we live in a single family home. My mom, mm -hmm. my mom slept basically in the living room and me and my brother had two beds in the one bedroom, a very small kitchen. We lived on top of the family's house. We had a little we had a little patio on the top. Mm -hmm. And I think it was I, I might have been Foley. Could have been you. It but was I Foley. Thought, yeah, Foley. I remember, yeah. Foley goes, do you have that like fake grass? AstroTurf. Did you have that porch. like did you have that green AstroTurf on the patio? And dude, when he said that, he brought me back yeah. there. And I remember. Remember, you guys said you saw it in my face. We see it. Well, you were one of the early ones, but it was the, we go back to that moment. We call it like it's like the we remember Verzi with the patio. It's like uh, you see it's, them go. Yeah. Oh, uh, like it's like. That also, too, we were younger. Dude, comics. I'm getting the chills right now because it it, it sparked something. You you see them. You're, they're no longer like the guests go to a place where they're like, oh, I haven't been here yes. in 25 years, mm -hmm. and you see them. Cause like you know, I come on and I'm like, all right, here we go, and we're like fucking all hop and be bopping and scatting, but like yeah, because we're just running in our normal personalities. Right. And I'm not thinking back of like, you see them remember. That's the that's the thing. You see them go. You and with like we used to do it on Zoom, so we'd be all be staring at each other's faces the whole time, and then we would hang up and we'd call each other afterwards. Because like, oh, that was good. You go, did you see it? And you go, it was right when you asked them about the astroturf. Yes. You see them go. Oh, I get this now. This is different. Yeah, it was it was amazing, and that's when I knew. Wow, this is a special thing because it brought me back to my, it brought me back to my mom's struggles. It brought me back to my brother and I living in this together. In this, you know, it was a big bedroom, but it was my mom wasn't going to yeah. be in there, right? And it just, and then we had that green thing up sure. there, and it was like holy shit. And I'm sure, like the fact that you see other people do it, so it's more than it's like a, it's like this realization of your life. It is. We we realize we get stories. Right, like you on a pod, like we're gonna go on a podcast. You're like, oh, I'm doing this big pod. I'm gonna come with fucking. I know this story about my mom, my dad, me right. getting in a car accident, whatever. You're like these are the fucking hits. We we it was all not engineered this way, but we realized we get story. We spark moments in people where they go, oh, I haven't thought of this. So you're getting like very organic stories that they're remembering in the moment. Did you have anybody cry on the show? No, no, no. It was because it's always silly. It's always silly, yeah. It's always like, uh, yeah, it tends to, yeah, I don't think so. So you'll see somebody go back but never get like. Never yeah. like, yeah. We're never like, did your mom, you know, finger your asshole or anything. Right, right. Sure. Are you, <laughs> <laughs> Are you garbage if your uncle molests you? Like, what? Uh... It's just a good time. <laughs> That's Uncle Charlie being Uncle Charlie. Hey, shout out to uh, him. No, man, but that, and then, and then, and you guys go on the. 
on the road. Yeah. And I asked you about that because I was always curious, like, what to do. Like, me and Burr, when we did anything better, we were doing a football one. So we were at, like, a football stadium when the Arizona Cardinals opened the MGM Sportsbook at uh-huh. the field. Yeah. So they were just, like, VIPs, and we just sat down and basically talked football, did some joking. Uh-huh. Um, but— uh, and hopefully, me and Bobby get the opportunity to do something like that. But it's like it's it's stand up. You guys do your own stand up. Yeah, we co- it's a what pretty is much Toby, a, Toby opens. Toby opens. So we take our boy Tom Cassidy, uh, Tom Cassidy yeah, host, to, and yep. then uh, Toby goes up and does time, and then uh, me and Foley co headline. We each do depending on you know twenty to thirty, depending if we have to turn the room. Like if we're doing two shows or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. The first one's always tighter. Uh, but yeah, like twenty five to thirty, and then um, you take questions. The last twenty twenty five minutes, everybody when they get there, they email their garbage question because that's another thing we found out that I think like really connect like the audience that really resonates with the audiences. Yeah, they all want to ask their garbage question right about their life. They're, like, they're so excited. To they're get so it read. excited, and they're like, "Is it garbage if your dad, you know, whatever, whatever, like used to live on a houseboat and it sunk and he brought it back up and then continued to live on it, like type thing." So right. it's like real wild <laughs> shit. So like they're now, and then we post the yeah. clips, and they are trying to top each other. So they're coming in fucking, they're mm. coming in hot. Where you're like, this is fucking insane. How many can you take? You can't take everybody, of course. No, we pull like it's usually like the best ten. I try, we try to get to ten. So while you're there, they get there before the show starts. There's and a you slide, guys, and, and you they guys email can... me, and then you send it. Maybe to... bef- no, I'll pull them. You do it. Because uh, I don't trust anybody else. Because uh, I just know the rhythm of the show. See, that's and my, the yeah. tangible. Like, I'm like, I... Because at the end of the day, I'm like, I got to be the guy up there to try to make this work off the cuff in the moment. That's smart. Because I'm not letting give someone else, else pick it. That's you know? smart. That's and like, smart. At this point, it's, it's an easier... We've done, you know, I mean, we've been touring for like two years, so... Uh, I, you can tell when one's really good. You're like, oh, this will work. This won't. And obviously, I'm wrong a handful of times. You know what I mean? Dude, that one, I, I saw one clip you guys had, and I was like, that was the, the haircut in jail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, this that's guy, like. This, this kid's dad was a corrections officer, and he would take his kid to the jail to get his haircut like every two months from an inmate. But the inmate must have been good. I assume. Yeah, I mean, he's probably fucking doesn't mean fade. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking tighten you up. Line uh, the kid up, will you? Dude, that's... Like that crazy shit. And yeah. then you're like, oh, I've never even fucking... As somebody who's, you know, we created the show, I'm like, I never even thought we would ever get the fucking... Have you ever had your hair cut by an inmate? No, the, that that was the thing about... that it's was fucking the th- nuts. That is nuts. And that's the thing about those questions, because when I did Unacceptable... For the for the um, Verzi effect, and then now that me and Bobby are doing a bone to pick, I had an unacceptable where you get things where you're like, I can't believe you find out things. Like one of the biggest unacceptables I had uh, was somebody asked me. They asked me on Good Morning Football uh, what was the craziest one, and the craziest one was uh, an Uber driver showed up and a woman came out and she had the the baby in the car seat. Mm-hmm. And she strapped the baby in the back of the car seat and she just handed the guy an address, dude, and left and, and walked. And, and the guy had like a 40 minute drive. And he was, dude, he was like, I don't know. And that's I was fucking and, nuts. Dude, yeah, dude. She, like, and I mean, that's that, unacceptable. That, that actually, not only is that that's illegal, I was going to say, like, not only is that unacceptable, that could be, that, that's garbage. That's like a double. Oh, that's wild. That's, yeah, dude. And the guy was like, dude, I didn't know what to use. Like, I was panicking if the baby started crying. I would have just said, no, I'm not doing this. I mean, or like, you get in, I'll that, drive you back for I th- free. I think she left, dude. I think she played him. I think she went and was like strapped him oh, in, and then, just, and then like, just gave the address and like left, and he didn't know, dude. That's like fuck that. Yeah, dude, that's I heard too much. Yeah. That's that's giving me. I'm sweating right now thinking he about goes, that. That's illegal, <laughs> dude. You can't be doing that. I had a friend Uber a jacket from a hotel to the airport because oh. he left it there, and I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> well, it's been topped. Yeah. <laughs> what a shit. Yeah, yeah but, but baby. The, yeah, but if the guy's getting a baby like a pizza. That's yeah, the, fucking... the, but the jacket, the guy's getting paid, and he doesn't have to deal with talking to anybody. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they have that now in the city. I just used it the other day for I fucked. I left my keys. It's called Uber Package. Oh yeah. Yeah, like I just send it to my like I forgot my keys at the house. Who was saying? And that? like they, you know, Uber just pulls up. Did my wife handed him the keys and he just drives them like it's a person to your for wherever the fuck you are. That's wh- you can yeah. do anything. I I heard somebody said that they dropped off a pint of ice cream. They just had somebody, it was like Uber Eats, but they just wanted a pint of ice uh-huh. cream, dude. And the guy's just got a pint of ice cream in the car, dude. You got <laughs> you got to tip that, dude. That's Look, a dude, lot. Yeah, you gotta, dude yeah. if you're driving, like, let's say, like, you know, 10 miles with mm-hmm. a scoop of ice cream for somebody. Yeah, that's dude, a lot. That's a lot, that's dude. That's a lot. That you should, I, I think that if it's a one item, there should be something on there mm-hmm. that gives you a bigger tip. Sure. If you're bringing a jacket or a piece of pizza or a fucking thing, dude, you got to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me get a slice of a Diet yeah, Coke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't like using fucking Uber Eats anymore, too. They're getting real fucking loosey-goosey with the restrictions. Really? Oh, dude, I ordered fucking Uber Eats not too long ago. And the two dudes, I was at a hotel in, uh, I think I was in Atlanta, actually. I think it was fucking the Red Clay Comedy Festival. And That's great. Two dudes pulled up, and they're like, yo, come down. Like, I was like, you know. What do you mean, come, like, come like, get I had to, like, come meet them out front, which is fine, but it was like more, it was like a drug deal. It was like, it was like yeah. they were doing me a favor. Get in the front seat. It was seat. like, come down and get this. Yeah, like, no. we're out here waiting. I'm and like, it's All like right. part of the deal is not that. Dude, just two dudes smoking a blunt in the front. <laughs> a guy was rolling around with his boy, just delivering Uber Eats, smoking weed. And I'm like, this, I'm not the most professional guy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't need it to be fucking white glove delivery service, but I also don't need fucking two dudes yeah, smoking I mean, a blunt next I mean, to my dude, nuggets. You got powder on your nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was drinking out of my drink, too. <laughs> you got half a Coke. <laughs> The can is cracked. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm like, let's just just come, just tighten it up a little bit. Oh man, I had make him wait outside for a minute. I had a Grubhub of Indian food the other day, and the guy came with it, and the the bag was soaking wet. And he mm -hmm. goes, oh, I think I'm gonna bounce around in my scooter, and I was like, and I I grab the bag, and the bag That's falls just, out from uh, underneath, food all over my my patio or my porch. Oh my god, uh, my stoop, and he goes, oh man. And I'm looking down, I look up, and he is gone. He oh, saw yeah, it. Yeah, can't do that. Yeah. So what are we doing right now? Fuck. Dude, no. I had one lady. Still ate it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Non, it, all non, it all didn't touch the floor. Yeah, the patio was clean. <laughs> I just watched it two, three days ago. <laughs> Mike, where are we time-wise, by the way? 41. Okay, beautiful. So um, I, had a, I, had, I had one lady. Uber in New York, people just, they just stop. There's just so many, and everybody's using it for everything. People are taking, it's it's just such high volume yeah. that now the standards are dropping. Like, you right. know what I mean? You pull up in a car, you're like, dude, this thing ain't, this thing hasn't been inspected in six years. You know what I mean? And they're right. like, real fight. You're like, it sounds like the bottom's about to fall out. Yeah, yeah. But I had this one woman, <laughs> I like got home late, I was drunk, and I ordered Uber Eats, and I'm like, it was <laughs> Dude, it was like February. It was one of those fucking nights where you're like, Cold. the wind is stinging you from yeah. like, from a half a block walk. You're you're like, what'd you go with? I for, I ordered fucking the only thing that was open was like a pizza place nice. maybe like on the not in my direct circle. Like it was like, you yeah, know, it was a bit of a hike. And the fucking a girl, a woman, dude. It's like three o'clock in the morning, Francesca or something. She picked Francesca. it up walking, not even on a, you know how it says like Ricardo's on a bike, Jimmy's in a car. She, she pulled it, it said Francesca's walking. And I'm like, whoa. First of all, it was like three miles away. I'm like, this woman's going to walk. No. So I'm like messaging her and I'm like, I'm like, are you walking? I'll get you an, I'll get you an Uber. Like. Also, my fucking chicken palm's gonna be frozen Dude, by the time it gets here. Buying an Uber for, <laughs> for an Uber, Uber Eats? Oh my god! I'm like, I'll get you the fucking Uber. Like, this is crazy. You're I'll meet you at the restaurant. Was, yeah. was, she, was she walking? She was walking, walking. Dude, what? it was like 15 degrees out, three in the morning. With your pie? With my pie? I think it was a chicken palm sandwich <laughs> and maybe some mozzarella sticks. <laughs> But who's asking? <laughs> um, so fucking, it's just keeping her hands warm. She's freezing. <laughs> she's got them down her pants and shit. Um, so she shows up, and I live, I live uptown. And uptown's but real. Who's asking? Real mountainy, right? Like it's like there's a bunch of fucking hills and like real. It's yeah. like level changes are crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. it's like the uh, the stairs from the Joker. You know what I mean? Like yep, that, yep. There's like fifty of those all through up uptown. Got, got it. Got so it. So I live right next to one. And she was walking. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, dude, 40 minutes goes by or whatever. And she's not responding to my messages. She's walking slow as shit. She gets to the stairs. And now it's like she's got to walk up the stairs. And then my building's right there. <laughs> dude, she just fucking left it at the bottom of the stairs outside, marked it as delivered, and just fucking left. Oh, man. And I'm like, all of that, I waited fucking an hour. And she's, then you just leave it on the sidewalk. She's going to tell those old grandparents stories. I walked three I miles for Uber to... Eats. <laughs> I had one Bad chicken parm. <laughs> His name was Kevin Ryan. He I'm, had mozzarella sticks. In. I'll never forget him. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, dude! I didn't even know they were allowed to. I didn't even know they're allowed to walk. I dude. think for like real local shit, like oh, I'm picking it up here, and it's three blocks away, which is faster than driving. You know what I mean? Of like, right? But three I'm miles. Sure in like Midtown, they can like fucking, I'll, you know, <laughs> scoot around a little bit. But yeah, dude. She was like on a walk. I wouldn't walk on a nice spring day. I would, and, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Just dude. left it. I was like, all right. And then I was just like, I guess I'm just fucking. 
just fucking shit out of. I think I ordered Domino's when I, because Domino's will get you there. They get quick. Domino's don't play. Yeah, yeah. They, they you're not a real. kid. See, the one thing about you that I, I I think is hilarious. You're not a kid that shies away from shitty food. Oh no, you're, you're big I, shitty food. I mean, guy. you're you're a bit like you'll well, go. Also, I mean, I'm not a huge. I don't order. I, I no, order but Domino's you're... in a pinch. <laughs> I'm fucking Francesca screwed me. Dude, the other day I had a hankering for Pizza Hut. I haven't had it in 25 years. Sign me up, dude. <laughs> Sign me up. What are we talking about here? Sometimes shitty it, chain is like really 6, delicious. There's Pizza Huts for a fucking reason. They yeah. know their way around the za. That's yeah. all I'm saying. <laughs> you know what's nice if you go like I what? like Sabaros. I was just talking about this the other day. And you know what's good when shitty pizza's a little overcooked, like like a little crunchy, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Love shitty pizza. I love. I'm not. I don't have a. Palette, but you don't you means. don't dunk the breadstick in the sauce, do you? Oh, I will. <laughs> I mean, they give you the sauce, Paul. What are we talking about here? Well, uh, I mean, this is a crime. <laughs> yeah, no, man. Sometimes I get a hankering for bed. Like you know, it's bad, and you know you're sure. and you know you're gonna regret it. Sure, you know, but but it's like every once in a while, man. That like um, that White Castle shit. Give me yeah, give me some slop. I like to play in the mud. A, a, a little bit. A little bit. I'm not doing it every day. No, you I'm know, not, yeah. I have my. Sushi nights, sure. I, I, I look at nice steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, nice steakhouse. Come on, little Del Frisco's fucking. I'm a Gallagher's man. <laughs> a little wedge, sure. a little wedge salad little with wedge, crumpled blue. A crab yeah, cake to start or something. But every once in a while, on a you know, on a cold February night, let's get a, let's get some fucking I cheese like sticks. Champagne. I also like beer. You know what I mean? That's how we do it around here. The duality of man. You're a, you're a beer guy too, right? Beer. Yeah, I'm a shot and shot and a beer man. Uh, we will do. It's very of my fam. Like they're construction. Worker. So, like, yeah. if you, if a dude growing up drank wine, yeah, if like you know you were fucking toasted at the family party, like yeah, uh, everybody, yeah. oh, what are you over there, okay, you know, Uncle Steve, <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> they call you, you know, hit you with a two dollar bill or whatever, three dollar bill. But, yeah, um, yeah, you can't, you can't. It was very they questioned your sexuality back in the nineties. You can't you bust it. out a Pinot at the Ryan family barbecue. Now you can. <laughs> no, you now can. you can. Yeah, nineties, no way. No, no, nineties. No, it no, was no. like, what are you fucking? I would say like wine is real. I mean, yeah, like when you start seeing LeBron and LeBron with his own wine company. <laughs> sure, yeah, things have loosened up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but, but it was well, women drank wine, dudes drank beer, or. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, seven and seven or something like that. Like, something hard. I think men have now moved to where, like, back in the day, women would have the the uh, wine cooler. Mm -hmm. And a man, like the Barles and James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, women All would have shit, those, like, yeah. the pink ones and shit. Of course, shit. And, I'm, and shit. And, yeah, yeah, but now, White Claw is no, like, White Claw is, yeah. Oh, like dude. to twist it. Not like to twist, but there's, like, a million of those. I go I go down the, sh I go down a, uh, the shore. The shore with my Me family. Uh, North Wildwood, shout out, represent. And all the dudes are drinking. There's like a million. There's like the surf sides, the this. There's just all canned for the high noon. Can I can I admit something to you? Sure. I said this the other day. I go, yeah, I go, you know, I, me and my family, like, you know, we'll go down to the shore. I go, but it's not that seaside wildwood shit. Baby, <laughs> that's what I'm in for. The Verzies don't go to boardwalks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, we, the Ryans live under them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Verzies don't get that big slice of pizza on oh, the boardwalk. Oh, with the you're slice. nuts, baby. Yeah, no, I, I'm I, in it. I, uh, you listen, try to knock the three jars down with the softball? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the fucking basket toss. I get the whole thing you going. get the ring I'm around the three pointer. You get the, the ring around rooms. the glass bottle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's great. Dude. I love all that shit. That's all. Yeah. That's I, great. I, 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 that's my and like I have family that lives in like Sea Isle and not lives, but Sea Isle's like a, a little more hoity toy, you know, a little more money. Avalon's Av uh, Avalon and Stone Harbor are very rich. South Jersey, like it's like Oprah has a house. I was gonna say, like, I was like, I think like I heard. It's like Avalon, yeah. I mean, like the houses are like fifteen million dollars, like yeah. wild shit. Wait, is there an Alpine to New Jersey? I think Alpine's further north. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, That's but great. like I'll go there and I'm like, it's just not. I need the grit. You know what I mean? I need. Yeah. Dude, we go to my uncle's house in North Wildwood, and it's. Uh, it's he's got this back patio. The house is the house is nice, but like he redid it himself. He's retired. It's like a whole thing, but like, dude, he's got an above ground pool. He's got like four picnic tables, like put up all next to each other. <laughs> he's got a fucking old Coca Cola fridge filled with beers, and we just sit back there and like it's just break balls. Like, gonna... This is all I need in my life. I thought you were gonna say he uses the four picnic tables as the deck for the pool. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He's got a ladder up, dude. They're all around. <laughs> 
there's a slide. Uh, oh, that's great, man. Yeah, but, but that's I those are fun times, dude. Love, I'm like, dude, I don't need fucking, I don't need the 14 million dollar house. Give yeah. me an above ground pool. Somewhere yeah. I can smoke cigs, a couple, you know, torches, a citronella candle. I mean, I can't, but I'll meet you halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you halfway. Fair but, enough. No, but but Kevin's got class because I he came to uh, he came to but we got to do it again. You got to come next year. Dude. I know. I, 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 I could have made it this year. I had to go. I went to see family because I dude, got jammed up. Dude, I spent. Thousands and know, thousands of dollars. Mr. Verzi and, puts and, on a hell of a Fourth of July barbecue. My Fourth of July party, people know, and then you know that the sausage and peppers come out at eleven for the second dinner. Sure. So it's nuts. But um, Kevin showed up, and uh, and uh, there's a great story. This yeah. is a great story. Giannis Papas hits me up and goes, "Hey, Kevin, shout out to Giannis Papas. Shout out Hilarious. to Yanni P. And uh, Yanni hits me up and he goes, "Hey, Kevin, uh, Kevin Ryan's asking what he should bring, what kind of wine or bottle." And I was just like, I, "You know, I don't know." I go, "Let's just let him bring what he's gonna bring." I, I don't even know what to. And uh, you showed up with the bottle of Lagi, mm -hmm. Lagavulin. Yeah, was it like take that, Mr. And, Verzi? And you That's just handed me on the front lawn, and I looked at Giannis, and I go, "I told you." Yeah. I go, this kid, the kid, the kid That's gets." Yeah, you're That's a kid still that, the best present I've ever bought anybody in my life. Is he goes to Verzi. But you're a kid that just gets it. But we we Thank do, you. do you remember that time? Do you remember that time? Oh, we gotta talk about this before. Sure. You guys will love you guys will love this story with uh with Kevin. And please, if if I am sure if you're listening to this, you know all about Kevin and Foley and all your garbage. But if you if you don't and you just listen to the Verzi effect or whatever, dude, you gotta check it out. It's, Go check out Verzi's episodes. It, I think you've done it four times, something like that. You're like three, up there. You're three like or four three times. Three or four times, and you're one of the best it's it's, episodes. it's yeah. so great, but so Kevin and I are, uh, and it's so much. The, the other thing too is it's just so much fun, and you two like, and I feel like over the years, like we know each other, even though sure. we're not doing. You know my, of course, you know where to lead me, yeah, and I know, I know where man. to take hey, you. Know, you. You know where to the... pass it to me, and and you know where I'm open. Um, so uh, we had me and Kevin had this amazing time. We're in Houston, mm -hmm. we're hanging out, we're doing an improv, and I guess I went into. Um, I went. I get there and I want to watch the Nick game. Sure, yeah, yeah. And I go to this like dive bar, and the guy's like, "Ah, oh, we'll put it on." They never do. So then I go into the seafood restaurant. I guess it's a chain. Yeah, True uh, Lux. Like True Lux. There's like I think like five or six. There's, yeah, yeah True Lux is like this. This is this giant place and this nice joint. Yeah, real nice, classy, big. It almost looks like you have a wedding in there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy comes out and he goes, "Can I help you?" And I go, "Yeah, dude." I go, "I just got into town." I was like, "Can I know where you put the Nicks?" And he goes, "Man, I, I don't know, but let me try." And the guy starts trying, mm -hmm. and I'm like, Love "This a guy guy's that like, tries." You know what? Even Not like Francesca. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who gives up halfway through? Yeah, it's like you, it's like Franny. You already went through two and a half <laughs> miles. Right there. Let's finish. You're at the fucking finish line. <laughs> so, I was like, this guy's trying, and even if he knew they weren't going to be able to get the Knicks game on in this classy big thing, the fact that he asked. So then I said to him, "Hey man, even though it didn't work out, I said I'm performing. I said I'm headlining mm -hmm. over at the Improv. I want." It. He was like, "Dude, I'd love to." And I said, "Here's my number." Sure enough, the guy texts and he goes, "Hey, can you get me four? Yeah, and. Uh, we get him four, and then we have a great show. They're sitting there, have a great time. Talk to him after, and he goes, hey. He goes, if you and, and he loved he loved Kevin. He loved the show, and he goes, hey, if you guys want, he goes, you know, I'm the GM at True Love. Mm -hmm. You guys come in. He goes, the whole thing. He goes, I'll give you the desserts, the wine, the whole, the whole course meal. He goes, on me. Yeah. And, dude, we went there. And I still have the picture of the flaming dessert. Yeah. But dude, we went there. We had the was it the the, sh the snow stone crab? crab? Stone, stone crab. We had stone crab. But then he was like, hey, do this. He went above and well, beyond. We we were like, I don't know what. Not 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 no, but like you know, he was like, I recommend the stone crab. I'll go and like, every he time the he menu. Yeah, but the funny thing is, every time he left, me and Kevin leaned in like, dude, you think he's paying for this? Yeah, we're like, what the <laughs> fuck? You can't start offering stuff. And then, you know, hit you with a fucking $900 bill. Because we, we knew that if he was just going to do a couple of steaks and, and sodas, sure. he would have taken. But this guy starts going, you got to get this. You got to get he that. He took my menu like, yeah, I'll take it out. And just kept bringing food and goes, this pairs with this. Which is, I've never, I've that's the classiest thing I've ever done. That was the one that made me go, dude, this is a really wild meal. When he just goes, no, no, you, there's a white wine you have to have with that. With that crap. And we were yeah. like, oh, shit. Then he's like, you got to get the dessert. And this dude comes out after this amazing meal. He comes out with this dessert. They light it on fire. It's got that blue flame on mm -hmm. it. We took a picture of it. We have this epic, epic dinner, and then we go and do the show, and it was amazing. And then, and then, dude, to see what you're doing now, and to it, it's so fucking. Thank it's what you, it's man. the best, Thank dude. You. Thank it's you the very best. much. And it's, it's and it's nice to have a little cash in it. A little bit of cash. <laughs> just bought a Mercedes. <laughs> did you? I did. Oh God. It's used. All right. <laughs> 
Let's, let's I mean, listen, it's not guy, even certified I mean, pre-owned. look, listen, the guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was in a flood. <laughs> I mean, the guy summers in Wildwood. It's not going to be brand new. Come on, what are we talking about here? What's trashier than buying a used luxury car? Listen, one of the tires doesn't match. But <laughs> it's got four donuts on it. It passes inspection. You know, three white walls. One's black. Oh, that's hilarious. You don't go to Wildwood anymore. You summer in Wildwood. You just summer change in North the name. Wildwood. Oh, I didn't tell my fucking car. This is a oh, we'll make it quick. I know we got to get. Yeah, no, no, it's my, all my good. Fucking car got stolen. Whoa. Yeah, you know Kia. You, you know the you know the Kia boys. Kia boys. So if you're not familiar, Kias are crazy easy to steal. I used to drive a Kia to a 2021 Forte. Now you mean as far as hot wiring and stuff? They don't even have to hot wire them. What they do is they just break the window, unlock the door, get in. There's an app. They use their phone. Where like they just plug it in like they're charging your like they're charging their phone and can start your car in what? seconds. Or if you have the key, like I had the key. That's dude, let's go push. get some sportages. Nah, dude, that's, that's what they do. They just do it and then fucking they just. So this leave is them like the night. new New Jersey There's Drive. A... Remember the New Jersey Drive movie about all no, the what's that? yeah? There was a movie back in the day called New Jersey Drive, and it was about the car theft in Newark. Oh. And and so but yeah, it, but it this, was, the thing is they don't even ha- hock them for parts. It's just kids having fun, and then they leave them. So you get your so car you back. So you break the, the key a window. You fucking plug in the app. Well, you get the thing. You they start, start it. Four and... seconds. They're out. Whoa. Dude, and they, so much so that Kia has a, lost a uh, class action lawsuit because of negligence of Kia and Hyundai. Because they're, I mean, they're, they they get stolen. Constantly. Constantly. And you, what did you have, a soul? Uh, no, I had a Kia uh, Forte. So they pop. I still own it, technically. It's at the fucking dealership. I'm like, I don't want it back. They pop the fucking, they pop my ignition out. And the whole fucking cylinder just comes out with a. It, dude, it's literally just like you're po- opening a fucking beer bottle. Like the a puzzle whole, piece just yeah, the out. the whole cylinder just boom out. And then there's like a little fucking square that you just stick a screwdriver in and turn. Like there's no backup system. Wow. You don't have to pull any watt. You just do that and it just starts. Oh, man. So I wake up. Car's gone. Call 911 and report it stolen. They come up. The police show up to my house to file the police report. And I don't know if you know, they take pictures of every car in New York, like cop cars drive around and just take pictures of every license plate. So if they randomly just yeah, keep just as they're driving down the street and it oh. all goes into a database. Got it. So if they ever go like, oh, there was a terrorist attack or an Amber Alert, they go, we know they have it. That car was here, seen in Brooklyn last night. It's like or taking whatever. people's fingerprints. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, they yeah. can see where it at least was sure. at some point. Yep. <clears throat> so they go, this just pinged under the George Washington Bridge an hour ago. Yep. I go, what the fuck? They go, get in. I'm like, what? They're like fucking get in. I'm like, I'm like, let's fucking go, dude. I hop in the back of this he car. He his gun. Dude, this dude was showing off so bad. He was show, dude. Whoop, whoop. Like, dude, we're doing 120. He gave you the uh, the, the ankle revolver. <laughs> All right, you got your sidearm on you? Here, pussy, use mine. <laughs> uh, so we're fucking, dude, we're gunning. And I've never been to like a huge, like my family of cops, but I've never been like, I was in the back, like I'm joining the force tonight. This is the coolest fucking, like we're cracking this case. Dude, we pull up to my fucking car. Dude, he's making right hand comedy. turns. I did, dude. I was about to when we when we were pulling up to the scene. He's making right hand turns from the left hand lane, like the fuck we're fishtailing and shit. I'm like, dude, it's a key. Relax. Like, a yeah, fucking, yeah. I don't even want it to be there. I'm trying to get this fucking check from Geico. So, uh, fuck, I don't want to. I don't want to salvage a fucking uh, uh, a Kia Forte. Uh, so we do we pull up under the GWB. Sure as shit. We go, he's like, it should be right up here. I go, fucking, there's my car. Four dudes smoking crack in the car. Like, at, like actively in the car. Whoa. Right? Windows smashed out. They're fucking. What was that movie, The Other Guys? When they oh, had yeah, the... the soup kitchen when yeah, they're yeah, all jerking yeah. off in it. That's what all my boys Dude, are saying. They, they, were, they were four Dirty crackheads. Dirty Mike and the boys. Four fucking, like, teenage <laughs> drug addicts. Yeah. Or, like, they were all in there. Currently. Smoking. Currently in there. Whoa. Like, in there. Whoa. Right? So. I think two of them were in the back sleeping. The one guy's got my golf glove on. Like, it's a fucking... They're, they've, they've, they're, they're having a blast in the fucking car. <laughs> Dude, they're going through my trunk. I had three fucking Adidas zip-ups from, like, uh, two years ago that I bought, and then <laughs> they didn't fit, so I was going to return them. And they didn't... But they was, it was past the time I could return them, so I just had them in my <sighs> trunk. And they're all wearing them. They're all wearing my fucking zip-up. Like, brand-new zip-ups. They look, like, they look like the world's worst fucking soccer team. Do I like, keep the car? Can I get the hoodies back? I, yeah, dude, I'm like, dude, you're fucking brand new clothes. They had tags were on the floor. Do you sign them for them? You guys listen to podcasts? Oh, my so God. So it's fucking, it's like, dude, we pull up, and I, so they realize, they go, suspects in the car, suspects in the car. So they pull up and block the pass, or the driver's side, like with the car. The two dudes in the passenger side front and back it out, take off running. 
like just down the highway, down the fucking West Side Highway, running. And uh, dude, the cops hop out, fucking let me see your hands, guns drawn. To like, the get first out of the two, the, to two, the guys two. that they pinned in. Yeah. So like, let me see your hands. Get the fuck out of the car. And I'm at this point. I'm like, I'm not a cop. I'm not fucking yeah, yeah, cut yeah. out for this, dude. I'm, <laughs> and I'm, my first reaction is to panic. So I go to fucking get out. But you're you can't get out of the back of a cop car. You're just fucking in there. You're probably safer there. I know, but I'm panicked, dude. I'm like, get me the. Fu- I don't want them to see my face. They're gonna beat me up. You know what I mean? I'm like, I've seen Law and Order. They go after the witnesses. You know. You're just laying down in the back seat. I was covering my face with my jacket like this. I, I was shit myself. Dude. So uh, I. Uh, so then they go, all right, they have him cuffed, and another cop takes off to chase the fucking two the dudes. Two, yeah. So they're in the wind, but they have the two dudes, and like the only place to put him is in the fucking back seat with me. And I'm oh, like, no, dude. What the fuck? I'll dude, catch I'm, an Uber, dude. Dude, I'm freaking, yeah, I'm freaking out. I'm my, I'm my, literally, if they did that, my plan was to put my hands behind my And be like, yo, fuck go, these pigs. I'm like, yeah, man, they get you for stealing Kia's too. He's fucking pussy. You know what I mean? Just start fucking. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you're, you're like McLovin from... Uh... That's what I was expecting. Yeah, I was like, hey, dude, so then it was just a fucking wow. scene, a whole nine yards. So then they, they t- just give you your car back after. It was like hours. They took me down to the police station, whole thing, fucking, they finally come back and they're like, yeah, this is your car. I'm like, I don't fucking... You got to rock a crack. <laughs> That's my that's my crack pipe. Don't touch that. That one's mine. They left you a gift and that they Oh, so so now so wait, they don't impound it or anything. No, which I thought they were gonna do and I had to get it. We were recording, I had to get down to pot. Was there, now was there any damage to the car? It's fucked up. I mean all the windows windows are smashed out, it's fucking tra- they trashed it. I think they were like peeing in there and shit. It's a fucking it's disgusting. Yeah, you can't have the car back. I don't want it. I go yeah. burn it, put it in the fucking river. Yeah, I don't yeah, give, yeah, take yeah, it for yeah, evidence. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. something. Yeah, it ain't yeah. my car. I need my yeah. car. Yeah. And the lady's left, she's like, That's your car, sweetheart. I'm like, I'm not fucking... The guy is like, well, you can't leave it here. You can't just fucking leave a car here. Yeah. Like, this is now your responsibility. Did you check the serial number? So I don't what, think this is the same car. He's guard. like, the, state of, the city of New York's turning this over to you. And I'm like, so now, dude, I have to... But they've ripped out my fucking ignition. So I So can't, what did you do? I had a fucking... I had a pair of needle nose pliers in the trunk that I had to fucking start my car with. And the cops are like... <laughs> Uh, the cop's like, this is pretty crazy. You're stealing your car. I'm like, I'll fight you right now, dude. Shut up. This isn't the time or place for your fucking jokes, man. <laughs> oh, my. But, yeah. Crazy. So then, Whoa. They let the kids go, too. There's nothing they can do. Crazy. Why? They were minors? My, well, yeah. There was one kid. They're, they're charging, but they can't even charge them with. Uh... Yeah, what about the drugs? Nah, nothing. I don't know. I guess they didn't have them on them or I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, it's still de Blasio's New York. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> they were, the cops were pissed, too. They're like, this fucking kid will be out tonight. They're like, yeah. his parents are going to come pick him up. He's done. He's out. And what kind of Benz did you get? Uh, a GLB 250. Nice. Nice little mid size SUV zipping around a city. Dude, I had that. I rented that in LA and, nice. the, and it zips around. It's pretty. Things f- got to, I mean, I'm used to a Kia Forte with crackheads. This thing fucking moves. <laughs> It's not this exactly got a, some giddy up. It's not exactly a forte. No, oh, no, dude, no. man. Well, I'm, dude. I'm so happy Thank for you. Thank you very much. I'm man. so happy for you, man. Uh, guys, you got to check out. Are you garbage? Thank uh, you. Where can they see? P- please plug all your yeah, dates. Yeah, we're, we're 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 going. We just announced 20 new cities. It's uh, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, L.A. We're doing Philly. We're doing the Fillmore in Philly. Limited tickets there. Huge. Uh, Pittsburgh, Toronto. We're literally all over the fucking country. Uh, get those tickets. It's a fun time. We'll see you there. Yeah, and it's uh, Kevin Ryan. Guys, uh, for my dates, I ended the first leg of my tour, but I got some fall dates coming up. We already added some. We got San Diego. We got Philly. We got Hartford. We got Albany. More is coming, okay? But Paulie's going to the beach, okay, Ooh. to get a little bit of sun, all right? And I got a big announcement on my next special coming. Hopefully, we're going to be doing something late in the fall. Save the date if you're in New York for New Year's Eve. I never perform on New Year's Eve, but this year, Paulie's doing a cool little gig in New York City at a really cool venue, so please uh, check that out. Check out Bone to Pick with uh, me and Bobby Kelly. Anything better with me and Burr and BetMGM. We're about to get those uh, football picks starting week one. That's coming soon, too. Nocturnal Admissions, of course, is streaming on Netflix right now. Check me out in Bupkis. Uh, my dear uh, my dear boy, Pete Davidson, uh, who uh, you know put me in the show, and I'm on the season finale of that. That's episode eight. That's on Peacock if you have that. And uh, yeah, PaulVerzi.com. Check out Kevin Ryan. Check out H. Foley. Check out Mike Albanese. And and uh, I will see you guys uh, next week. Take care.